like a sacrificial lamb. So how do you do it? If, if you survive the, uh, the primary, which we assume you will, uh, how do you beat La Familia? That would be the uh, Cuomo family. How do you do it? Look, you just called me a sacrificial lamb and a long shot. What are you, kidding me? I'm the only guy with any shot to win this election besides His Majesty. This is the reality of it. The sacrificial lamb is the Republican. This state is clearly blue. In the last 16 years, the same things happened across any statewide election. Governor, attorney general, senator, doesn't matter. Blue team comes in first. Red team comes in second. No change. If I don't win this thing, no change. That's how it works. The sacrificial lamb is Republican, not me. You got the wrong guy. And, and you uh, are open about uh, thinking about leaving New York. And did you stay in New York to run for governor and, and try and fix the mess no, in the Empire look, State? This is the thing. You, you, just did a, you just did a piece on Cynthia Nixon talking about how she cares about upstate and the poor kids and all these things. Yet she has no answer for the economic woes that affect this state. The, His Majesty King Andrew, he thinks that, uh, you know, he's doing a fine job. Let's just beat up Donald Trump and life is good. Meanwhile, over 100,000 New Yorkers leave this state every single year. Right. The Republican says, let's tweak this or tweak that. Meanwhile, we have a death spiral in this state. Yes, I was considering leaving. I was looking at land in North Carolina. I was thinking about getting out of here. But I don't want to leave. New York State's a wonderful state. But we have to fix it with bold new ideas. That's not the same old thing. So the bold problem we have in New York State... I'm sorry, bold yeah, new ideas. Are, 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 do you consider people. yourself a, a classic libertarian in, in that regard, in, in terms of the, idea, the arena of ideas? In other words, lower taxes, less government? Not lower taxes, believe it or not. I'm not about lower taxes. It may sound crazy. I'm about reducing spending. The problem is everyone says they lower taxes, and they don't reduce spending, and we either have more debt or we shift the tax burden. I want to actually raise money through ideas that's not taxation and create surpluses so we can actually lower taxes at the local level. This is something no one else is even talking about. If you paid attention to what I've talked about, one of the ideas is actually leasing out naming rights for a lot of our infrastructure, leasing out naming rights for our bridges. Here in New York City, which is where I am right now, we have over a dozen bridges and tunnels just run by the MTA. These are bridges and tunnels that hundreds of thousands of people cross every single year, that get every single day, and they get mentioned in the news during rush hour hundreds of times every single day. Big businesses that literally drop billions of dollars in advertising would easily spend $100 million, $50 million to lease the naming rights of that bridge. That's raising money throughout this state. I didn't even cover the Erie Canal that New York has, which is over 500 miles of Erie Canal, almost three dozen locks. We can name these things too. Tons of naming rights. We retain the asset. We lease naming rights out just like stadiums or adopt the highway programs that we already have. We raise money, create a surplus, and then begin to lower taxes. You, no uh, one's talking about this. And you, it can be done. But you are talking about it, and we're giving you the, the platform to do so. And you seem kind of the polar opposite of uh, Andrew Cuomo. Uh, here's a guy, Cuomo, uh, yes. who's lived off the public dole his entire uh, political life, his entire career, frankly, uh, so as is an Republican. adult. But, but don't, you, don't let him get off the hook. All right. Too. Fair enough. But you, uh, you served in the military, uh, and you own a trucking company. Yep. And now you're in kind of this grassroots campaign. That's correct. Yes. Look, people often tease me. They say, Larry, why in the world should we vote for you? You don't have any government experience. That's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not part of this 20-year corrupt system. Look, these two guys who are running in the red team, blue team, they can't drain the swamp because they live in the swamp. They can't fix the establishment. They are the establishment. It's like asking them to burn down their own house. I don't have a career to protect. If I lose this, I go back to work. If I get beat up or yelled at when I'm, in, when I'm in office, then I lose in four years and I go back to work. I don't have people to pay back. I don't have that system that I have to worry about these other two guys do. Are you hoping to get uh, Governor Cuomo on the same stage as you in some sort of debate? Do you think he will? Have you reached out to his office to do so after the primary? As a general rule, that happens every time. Last time it happened, almost every time. His Majesty prefers to not be one-on-one, -on -one, so of he course. tends to like to have everybody there. <laughs> So he tends to do that, so the odds are very high. This is going to be a five-way race. And you said long shot. This is the shortest shot a third party's ever had. New York State's a plurality state. Now, with the five-way race, that means, in theory, 30% could actually win this thing. Sure. But more important, New York State, 70% of New Yorkers don't vote. That means there's going to be 7 to 8 million New Yorkers who don't vote. If I tap into just 10, 20% of those, 
This is a winnable race. Yeah, so it's a matter of ginning up uh, the base, whatever the libertarian base is, plus maybe independent voters and, and Republicans who, who don't want to pull the trigger for the Republicans. So if yeah. people want more information about you, where yes. should they go? Look, LarrySharp.com or Larry Sharp for New York. But don't forget, it's Larry Sharp with an E at the end. The E stands for electable. We won't forget. Larry, thank you and good luck. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.